So good morning peeps, we're on day three or two and a half, I don't know if that's right. Um, so today we had a fantastic night last night, slept in a hotel in the nice and warm, um, fixed me tent, all gaffer taped up so that's all good to go. My car was in mine head so we're now going to drive back to Paul Lot Weir and start our journey from there, see where we end up. I think tonight we're looking at doing 10 miles but that's 10 Cornish slash Devonshire miles which are like that. Um, so we hopefully we'll probably end up at Lynmouth and there's a campsite there so I think we're actually going to be at a campsite tonight rather than wild camping. So let's see how we get on, I'll check in with you later. Right so our plan of leaving nice and early is uh, sort of <laughs> we've gone out the window a little bit, we're still faffing around, we're at uh, Port Lock Weir and uh, this is where we're going to start the walk for today. Time now is 10 past 9 so we should be gone by about quarter past. Uh, yeah it's just started raining so we'll see how we get on today. The sea's looking lovely though. Rhubarb, but it could be like giant rhubarb. This is a really quaint, dinky little church called Colburn, Colburn Church. How small is this? when we were walking the Peace Walk. Did you? Milton Keynes. I don't know if you can hear, but we're listening to the birds. They've been really quiet up until now. And we've just suddenly started hearing them. I don't know if that's a sign for anything. If you know that that's a sign for something, just put it in the comments below, that'd be awesome. Perhaps it means that we've got good weather on the way. We've got lots of conkers all over the floor. In fact, we think they're conkers, but they might be horse chestnuts. We're not do you reckon they're chestnuts? I reckon they're chestnuts. All right, so if they're chestnuts. Actually, I'll do a close up. You guys can see who wins. Right, is that is that a conker or is that, or is that a chestnut? Oh, spiky bugger. Do you want me to I tread on it? Prickly yeah. furry little buggers. Whatever it is, Louise just killed it. It's a chestnut. <laughs> that's definitely a chestnut. It's not a conker. Oh, that's a spiky bugger, isn't it? Yeah, Is that a chestnut? chestnut? Yeah. It looks like a chestnut. It's a chestnut. <laughs> 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 so just a quick catch up then. Um, we stopped for lunch. I completely forgot to video but we was by yet another waterfall. And uh, I actually fell over. I was coming down a sleep stope slope and my foot went my ankle on my other side not my poorly ankle but my my other side ankle just went and I just fell over and just had to take a few minutes um, so this sign says we're now um, six miles to Lynmouth which is great we've got these weird like pig arches I'll take a quicker a better look for it in a second I have no idea what that is um, but yeah everyone else is sort of behind me but uh, it's been a fantastic day it just started to rain but so far Apart from that, it's been absolutely brilliant weather. Uh, couldn't ask for it any better, really. And we're in a campsite tonight as well, which is all good. So, spot on, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. All right, bye.
near me, it's really windy. Uh, so we've got a way up to go, then coming back down, but that's where we're finishing up today. And hopefully we'll get there before that big black cloud comes in. So we need to get a move on. Right, so I've just got to um, Lynmouth. I don't know where everybody else is. They're a little bit behind me, so there's two options here. So we can go up there or we can go down uh, along the coast. So I think I'd rather walk the coast just to get into the centre of Lynmouth, which is where the car is parked. I think for the last maybe hour and a half, maybe two hours, um, I've been walking on my own, which has just been absolutely lovely, just listening to a podcast, uh, getting my stride on, but my feet are aching now. Um, so I don't know what the mileage is. Time now is about quarter to five. So uh, I'll just wait for everybody else and uh, catch you in a little while. so a bit of a roundup for today then what a day it's been as you can see by the video it's been mostly forest trail um, I was on top of the world I had bags of energy even towards the end uh, actually I felt fine until we got into the pub and then it sort of hit me and it was like oh I'm really tired I need to go to sleep um, but before I do the final roundup I just want to tell you two things gear review wise so the first thing is I've been using my insulation pouch, uh, there's a guy you should follow on um, YouTube, his name is Paul Messner um, and he was saying, and Dave Outdoors as well, they were both saying about these insulation pouches and they're actually meant for the cold weather and you put your power packs and things like that inside them but they come with these like little bags and then you can put your adventure food, so tonight I have that one uh, which is pasta carbonara um, inside and it just is easier to hold and obviously it keeps it warm as well so if you don't want to eat it all in one go it will keep it nice and, and warm so yeah that's the insulation pouch I'll put all the link um, there's a link down below which is to my lighter pack and everything like this is actually on that link so check that one out if you're interested and uh, yeah I've also figured out with the ultra pod which is the tripod that I have um, I can wrap the velcro around my walking pole which is keeping my tent up and that's like a tripod at a better level so rather than me being all awkward in the tent so anyway little tip for you um, so I'm going to finish my dinner and uh, I'll sign out for tonight hopefully I'll see you tomorrow so for day four love this trail uh, it's just amazing there's so many different scenery to see um, you've always got to see obviously to your right if it's to your left you're probably going the wrong way around um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. People are so lovely as well to speak to. Uh, and we've had a real giggle. So uh, yeah, it's been good. Right, signing out now. See you later. Ta-da. Bye.